up guys? We got a great video on deck today that I'm very happy to bring to you guys at home. Uh, it's actually kind of a part two of the 60 pack video and it's kind of funny because um, it's kind of se it's gonna seem kind of incongruous to do this because we don't have the 60 pack anymore, you know? But uh, well, I already shot it and I was kind of in a rush to get all these videos out this week and some of them were uh, a little bit on the sloppy side. Oh. I'm sorry, the medium is the message, right? But I shot the footage and I didn't have a lot of time to get the video out, so I was kind of like, what am I gonna do, you know? I have this footage, it's a rainy day, so why don't we do something with it, you know what I'm saying? So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make a video on a, well, just a random assortment of colors that we have here at Primo, basically. I got some flame orange, I got some acme, I got some sugar, I got some flame orange, I got some flame blue, and some more sugar paint, and some really nice colors, too. I got tell magenta, I got, uh, what is this? Double dip, very, very nice shade, uh, and the light menthol, which is by far one of my favorite, one of my favorite colors of all time, this light menthol in the flame. Molotov and flame, they really kill it with the teals and the menthol colors. I mean, nobody even comes close to them. Before we get started, I wanna take a look at these stickers that were sent in by a artist somewhere out there in the world. Now, if this is your letter, you're probably confused as to why the outer envelope doesn't match what you sent me. Uh, we do this to prevent the chance of your address being shown on the letter. Also, uh, we have to screen the mail because let's just say I've gotten some strange things in the envelopes. <laughs> what I like to do is offer this uh, hit off service for people who put in orders with us, right? So if you put in an order with AP, you email artprimo.com at gmail.com or just respond to any email that we send you. So like if you get an email saying that your order is processing, if you literally respond to that email, that actually goes to a human, not a bot. There's actually a human being at Art Primo answering our emails. It's a real person and you can communicate with them. So if you ever want to hit off, just respond to an email or hit up info at artprimo.com or artprimo.com at gmail.com, all these different emails. But just respond to, respond to your order processing email. Say, hey, I want GR to hit off my order and I will do it. I will write your name. I will hit up a GR. Maybe I'll give you a little, uh, a little, uh, Maybe I'll write stay up on your box, you know, give you a little bit of encouragement, if you will, whatever it is you want. But part of that service is I like to disseminate other people's stickers and people's boxes. So it's kind of like a new way of getting up, you know what I mean? So as the order goes out, I'll take a little bit of this, a little bit of that, a little slap from here, you know, some stickers from Europe, from America, South America, whatever. And they go all over the world, all over the world. We got customers from here all the way to, I don't know, Korea and everything in between, you know what I'm saying? So let's take a look at this package of slaps. I'm very curious who it's from. Let's do this. Oh, look at that, it's from Switzerland. Check that out. That's great, that's great. Let's take a look here. Let's see what we got in here. It looks like T-O, T-O, T-O. Let's get nice and close here. Let's get nice and close. That's a nice throw up, T.O. Look, he actually sent back Art Primo stickers. He ordered stickers from us and sent them back to us so his stickers can go in boxes and go around the world. It's like the circle of life, baby. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. This is great. Thank you very much. And see, this is the best way to send us slaps. You know, just send a little stick, a little, a little stack like this. You know what I mean? Don't send me a, a five pound bag of stickers. Like I have so many stickers. <laughs> we want, want to give people variety. Um, anyways, let's see what else is in here. Let's see what else is in here. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, that is sick. Wow. Wow. Look at that. I like everything about this. This is cool. Thank you very much, T.O. And I guess it's T-O-R-E, Tori, Tori, Tor, Tori, forgive me, I don't know. Um, I'm just a boomer, what do I know? I wanna say Tori, Tori. Thank you very much, Tori. Uh, we'll be sure to put those in people's orders. And why don't we do this? Let's go out, start painting. And you know what? I need to show you guys something because some people still don't know how to start their cans. And I don't know how I'm gonna teach people to do it. Take can. for two minutes and then let's go outside. All right guys, the first thing we need to do is make sure we get our can started. Now this is very important for any type of artist brand paint because they have a substantial 
substantially much more pigment than you're gonna find in your hardware store paint. It's much more. Uh, so what happens is as the paint sits, because it takes about a year from production by the time it actually gets to your hand, um, as the can sits, it starts to separate, like all spray paints do. So you have like the pigment and resin on the bottom, the solvent, and then the propellant on the top. So it's very important to shake the cans for about two to three minutes to ensure that they're properly agitated. I like to shake them upside down. Maybe gravity helps a little bit, maybe it doesn't, I don't know, but that's what I do. Um, but here is my extra special tip. I take a red calligraphy cap, I cut the stem slot underneath it, make it a little bit wider. I know we've talked about this in the videos before, cutting the stem slot will give you much more flow. So we cut the stem slot, take the insert out, I also actually drilled it out a little bit. You don't have to do that, I just happen to do it. If you do, make sure you use a very sharp drill bit. But if you're uncomfortable with drilling, don't even worry about it. Just don't even do it. Maybe cut the stem slot, but make sure you definitely pull out that insert with a pair of pliers. That is very crucial to this step. So, take your can, go like this. Now it's ready. Now it looks like spray paint. All right, we're ready to go. All right guys, so let's go ahead and do our outline. Right now we're using Sugar Double Dip, which is a very light pink and the blue dot, which is a great starter cap if you're just getting started. Um, very soft, very easy to use. Not too thin, but not too hard to paint with. Very, very nice cap. Uh, so anyways, I'm using the Double Dip as my outline because it's a pretty nice light color. So that way if we have to go over anything, it's not too difficult to deal with. And uh, I rather like the Sugar, especially outdoors because it doesn't give off too much gas. The propellant used in it is called DME. It's made from uh, fermented sugar cane. So it, uh, it's, well, it's a lot easier to breathe with. That said, if you're doing a fill-in, you should definitely wear a respirator. Generally when I'm doing my sketching portion, not a lot of gas is coming out. So I, I generally don't because well, I have to talk to you guys. You know what I'm saying? I have to talk to you guys. When I'm filling, whole nother story. Now, if I was by myself, I'd wear the, I'd wear the mask all the time. Different story. But anyways, uh, let's go ahead and get it filled in here in a second. Let's start building our letters. And again, I'm using a blue dot, which is a very soft cap. I rather like it. Luke, I am your father. <laughs> Stupid. Hopefully you guys can hear me over the mask. It's gonna be a little bit loud as you can see here. Anyways, let's go ahead and switch out the uh, cap here from the blue dot to the Euro fat cap and see what it looks like here. Let's see how it rocks on the sugar. Oh yeah, that's what I was looking for. All right, guys, let's try the flame orange with the Eurofat pink dot. Oh, man, look at that. Now that is a color. Wow. Yes. That is all right, baby. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start our outline. This is flame orange, uh, deep black, or is it just the regular black? Oh, it's F0904, the regular black, my apologies. It's still very nice. Uh, the cap I'm using right now is the micro cap. And as you can see, even on a high pressure paint like flame orange, you can get very, very, very fine lines. I'm just gonna do this really quick. So I'm like holding the camera here. Let's see here. Wow, I'm really liking this cap on the flame orange. <laughs> I really like it a lot. 
Uh, let's see, was I doing this over that? Yeah, I think I was, I think I was. I think it was like that. And this was here. Mm -hmm. Yep, yeah, it was something like that. Actually, I think that was there. And that was like that. There we go. All right, let's take a look at it. Um, you know what? I think this should probably be fatter, huh? I think it should be. It should be more like that. Okay, we'll fix that. But over, overall, I think it's a nice old school letter. Let's do our outline, or our 3D here. Actually, let's just do a drop shadow. Just do a drop shadow on this. Alright guys, let's go ahead and rock some of this bright violet. And we're using the micro cap again. Just want to add a couple little... Give it some bub love, you know? A little bit of bub love. Perfect. That's all it needed. All right, guys, let's go ahead and rock our shines. We got flame orange, strictly concept white. All right, guys, let's go ahead and start doing our outer outer. We're going to be using this flame blue uh, menthol light, which is a really nice color. It has a, well, a menthol like hue to it. <laughs> Let's do a double thick outer outer. I like those. Those look really cool to me. Let's do a little bit of bubble. Bubble trouble. Now it is a pastel color and they do sometimes put out a little bit more overspray. Uh, but don't sweat. Um, if it looks a little bit light on your outline, just come back with the black and clean it up a little bit. But that's pretty normal, some of these uh, pastel colors. They tend to be a little bit more on the overspray side. But you can do it. You got it. All right, guys, it's looking good, but it sounds like I have to jump into the warehouse. Uh, they're swamped. So let me just rock a quick little character, just like a throw-up style, and uh, we'll close out. I do apologize. I can't do much further, but... <laughs> We're kind of killing it today. Thank you very much. Maple syrup, by the way, in the sugar. I need a fat cap. There we go.
Man, I gotta say, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I love the color combo. You got the magenta hitting off with the teal. You got the purple hitting off with that. Uh, you got a character, old school character, D style character, which I already showed you guys how to do. Real easy, guys. Just rock a D, put a face on it, put a hat on it, accent it however you like. Uh, and you have the B-Boy, the Chad. <laughs> it looks like the Chad, uh, but B-Boy style. Uh, I know you can do this. I have faith in you. And it's really important because when you rock a piece, it's great, but you gotta give it life some character, some color, some flow. And that's why it's really good to have some characters next to your piece. And a lot of times people don't rock characters. And I know a lot of guys who are really good at piecing that don't do characters. And when I actually talk to them, they're like insecure about it. You know, they're like, oh, I'm not good at characters. But then you see them like, oh, characters suck. And I was like, no, come on now, you love characters. Uh, I will say this, I'm very happy with the paint. Um, all the colors lay down really nicely. Make sure you shake your paint very well. Um, did I mention that you have to shake your cans? Make sure you shake your cans, guys. Make sure you shake your cans. <clears throat> Make sure you shake your cans. Okay, let's go inside. It's getting kind of cold and getting kind of dark. And uh, let's talk about this paint. What? This micro cap is probably my favorite cap, which <clears throat> I discovered. Amazing cap, it lays down so smooth, so clean. And, and even with the higher pressure paints, like the flame orange, did you see how thin of the lines I got were? Amazing, amazing cap. Gotta say, I'm still a big fan of this light menthol. Love it, fantastic. I wish I would've had a black backdrop so it really hit off, but you know, we're kind of in a hurry trying to get that video up for the holiday season, which didn't even make the cut anyways because I was just way too busy. Uh, but that said, I really enjoyed doing it. And you know what? Next time you guys wanna go paint and you wanna do something quick, just do a two letter. Take the first and last letter of your name, put them together. Two letter piece, easy as pie. Why waste the paint, right? Anyways, but uh, I had some questions about my paint collection from y'all and, and, and specifically which can is my favorite can from my paint collection. And you know, it happens to be this one right here. The Surf Green Krylon from, well, I'd say probably the 60s, mid 60s would be my guess on the age here. Let's see if it has a date. I'd say late 50s or early 60s. Don't quote me on this, and I'm sure some internet expert will comment below. Actually, whatever. <laughs> I think it's it's pretty old. Let's just say it's pretty old. Um, it's an all-metal can. Uh, very cool cap. It's a steel cap instead of the plastic that we have today. The actual cap got broken off years ago. I don't know. I mean, when I found it, it was like that. I don't think there's any propellant left in this thing. It's But it still has paint in it. No, it's... It's it's solid in there. It's definitely solid, uh, but it's a beautiful can, and it, you know it looks uh, looks looks pretty similar to this. I guess I got a thing for the menthols, those California colors, the corals, the menthols. Mm, so nice, and the mauve. Can't go wrong with the mauve. But anyways, guys, I got to get out of here because well. I gotta move on and do the new thing. And uh, I just gotta say, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your guys' support. Thank you for being a big supporter of Art Primo. And remember, if you guys need to get some paint, yo, I just had a kid call today, ordered 120 cans for a mural project. Got the wholesale price. And um, let's just say he is getting paid, getting paid, getting paid. And I'm very proud of him. Remember, up your hustle. Get your clients to buy your paint for you. And whatever's left over, extracurricular activities. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. This is GR signing out 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083. That's artprimo.com, your number one source for all things graffiti, art, wicker, furniture, surfboards, skateboards, whatever it is you wanna paint. Call me 206-365-4083 and I will find the paint that you need to get the project done for you. All right guys, thanks a lot. See you later, peace.